Hey everybody, welcome back to the third day of my update video blitz. In this video, I'm going to uh, cut and trim these trim pieces for the aft part of the front windshield. I did screw them up and had to order new ones and I'll show you that in this video. I'm also going to finish cutting and trimming and, uh, and sanding smooth all of the edges on the front windshield. Today I'm working on the side strips that go on the back side of the front windshield. And the first thing I'm doing is just using a piece of sandpaper to clean up all the edges. Then I'll put it on the, the back here and just measure the top and bottom of where I need to cut. Actually, I only need to measure one end. I measure the bottom there, even with that inside door trim piece. And then uh, once it's marked, a quick cut on the bandsaw and the piece will be ready to fit. And it's always a good idea once you're done cutting something to give it a test fit and see how it looks. Well, I have both the left and right pieces done. They are drilled for the holes. All I have to do is put this on here and match drill the holes into the cabin frame. But I screwed these up and I want to explain it to you because hopefully you guys can learn from my mistake and you guys can do it right the first time. I'll show you where I screwed up. It's the very top. All right, what I did is I put this up here just like this. And then once this was positioned, I cut the bottom and I thought I was good to go. But I went over to my cruiser and I looked at something and I noticed something I did differently on my cruiser, which is much better. And what that is, I'll, I'll show you on the cruiser in a second, but I need to cut this part out here so that this goes up if I turn this around, if it, it goes up over here because that windshield is going to go all the way up to the spar and you want this to cover all of the windshield. It would work like this. It just wouldn't look as good to have it end here. And then you see this open space of the windshield with no, you know, trim on it. So let me show you what I mean on the, the cruiser. Now, if you look on my cruiser, you see how this trim piece goes all the way up to the spar. And the piece I just made for the Super Duty would have stopped right here, right about where that hinge is at. This will be kind of hard to see because the door is in the way, but you see how this piece stops right up under the, this piece here, the hinge for the door. And then if I go around here like this, you know, it stops there, but then this piece continues up. Um, so anyway, this obviously looks much better because if like on mine right now with it stopping like right here, it would work. But, uh, you know, this piece would just be the windshield with no trim. So the way I have it on my cruiser looks much better because this trim piece goes all the way up to the top and it looks continuous. All right. If I've confused you, <laughs> I've drawn on here the section that would get cut out. Okay, so this whole thing would be cut out. You just have kind of this tab going up. And you imagine if this was cut out, this would go all the way up like this. And then this piece here would fit right here under the, uh, the hinge. So now for mine, if I did that now, of course the bottom would be an inch too short. So I'll replace both of these pieces. I'll give Zenith a call tomorrow and get two new ones on the way um, to do it right. Well, good morning, everybody. It's another day. I plan on getting a lot done on the airplane today. Even though I do need to replace these parts, there's still plenty of other things I can do. And just keep in mind, I'm only replacing these for cosmetic reasons. I just want that extra little inch on the top to cover that very top part of the window. These would work perfectly just as they are, but I don't mind replacing them and doing them the way that I want them done. Well, what's on the agenda for today? All right, well, since I'm not working you're finishing up these side pieces there's something i want to do on the windshield and when i was looking at this top window i noticed that the back window only came back to about i don't know somewhere around right here which really doesn't give room for the screws that go in there so i wanted the top of the front windshield to come back more and the way i need to move that back is to carve out a little bit more on the windshield right here so that obviously it can go back more. I've already carved this out, but as you can imagine, once you move the windshield back, well now 
the back of the windshield that was level or level, it was even with the back of the tubes is now going to stick back a little bit more. So now I have to cut off a little bit more of both sides of the windshield. When I had the windshield on, I marked the new location of the back of the tubes. And as you can see here, I've just, uh, I put two little marks on there. And then on the workbench here, I've clamped this ruler and I've drawn a line on there. So now I'll remove the ruler and then go ahead and cut this part off. It's a little bit of a hassle to do. It's kind of a lot of work and it's messy to trim the canopy, but don't be afraid to trim it as many times as you need until you get that perfect fit. The technique I found helpful when I trim this with this cutoff wheel and Dremel is I do about two inches at a time and I just lightly go back and forth over those two inches until it cuts through. One of the problems I'm having with this older Dremel is when it vibrates, the speed control is, keeps vibrating to a lower setting. So it keeps uh, wanting to stop. So I have to keep stopping and, and re-setting uh, the speed control. So I may have to buy another Dremel, but this one's pretty old. I got my life out of it. Once I'm done cutting, I'll use rough sandpaper just to kind of make that cut fairly even and clean up the edges. And then once I know everything is done to the final size, then I'll work on really sanding that edge smooth with finer and finer sandpaper to get a real nice finish. Okay, I think I'm finally done with the trimming, except the very bottom. But you can see the back, or the top now, comes back far enough to where I can get screws in here. So that looks good. I do have to take a long sanding block and just sand the back edge because it's, it's cut a little wavy. So I wanna straighten that out. And then if I come down off the ladder here, with the sides trimmed, they're even again with a tube. And then the only thing left to do is the very bottom. So I have to figure out where I wanna trim the bottom. Once I trim the bottom, then the entire windshield is done as far as fitting and uh, cutting. Well, I'd say I'm pretty happy with how the bottom's trimmed. That should work just fine. My fiberglass fairing will go right around like this, just like it did on my cruiser. So I think all of the trimming is done. I think it took me, what, two and a half days to do this. The only thing that's left to do now is to go get some fine sandpaper and really clean up these edges and remove all the sanding marks and make it nice and polished. There's no magic in doing that. I'm just using a piece of sandpaper wrapped around a piece of wood. And because it's what I had laying around, I'm starting with 80 and then I go to 150. Then I have 320 and 400. And that seems to get a real, real nice finish. After I'm done getting the edges nice and flat and smooth, I go over by hand with 320 and 400 sandpaper. And mostly what I'm doing is I'm just trying to round off that 90 degree corner. And I'm not really rounding it, but just knocking off that sharp edge. I think it'll help just to prevent cracks in the future. I have finished sanding all of the edges on the front windshield. They're all perfectly smooth. So as far as trimming and fitting the front windshield, it is completely done. So the next step I'm going to start working on is the top window. And where the, the front edge of the top window meets the back top edge of the front windshield, there's a metal strip there. And I wanna get everything positioned properly before I start drilling holes. So for right now, the front windshield is done. I did order my new trim pieces from Zenith this morning, and I'm kind of glad I had to put in an order because I ordered a battery, which will be here in the next couple days, because since I'm gonna start doing wiring and electrical work, I wanna get the battery mounted on the firewall. Um, so Zenith has, on my cruiser, they make a nice already formed battery box sort of strap uh, that holds the battery up to the firewall. And I'm using the same battery in this airplane as I used in my cruiser. So I also ordered that battery strap uh, so that I can mount my battery on the firewall of the Super Duty. So that's it for now. I have one more day off, then I do a four day trip, and then I have like 12 or 14 days or something like that off in a row. So again, I wanna be out in the hangar every single day working uh, and getting things done. So as soon as I get that panel back from Aircraft Specialty, I'll be able to take all this stuff off, put the panel in the airplane, and get that wiring.